Cat. It's Maximus here. This is something that isn't seen very often. Really, it's something I'm wondering isn't why these aren't integrated into cell phones and uh, smart watches. A UV meter. So this is UV A and B, the type of ultraviolet that does make it down to the uh, Earth's surface. But really, it should be integrated into the smart watches and cell phones. It's been cloudy for a few days, so I haven't been able to get a particular image. But all it is is it just has a little sensor here. It also has temperature. It's just the measuring the temperature of the body of the case, but since it's white, it's actually, you know, reasonably accurate. And it's a little bit handy just to tell you the raw temperature. So the whole point of this, and these devices, are about, this thing's like probably 15 years old or something like that, um, is just simply a UV index. So it just has this and it starts, you know, measuring and it'll tell you about the level and then it actually has a guide, which is the standard UV index guide. But the whole point of this is not to tell you that it's sunny because you could probably realize that but just to help make you more aware of how quickly you're going to end up uh, getting burned what is interesting about this device is it actually has a timer so you can set a general skin tone type as well as the strength of the uh, sunscreen that you're using and then it will take the readings that it already is receiving for the uv index and calculate a time before you have to either reapply sunscreen or to let you know that you're going to get burned the thing that makes these handy is like many times in, in winter, you can experience very high UV, especially uh, like ski resorts, snow, uh, just because the snow reflects so much. Also, as you get up in the high altitudes, particularly you know, 5,000 plus feet, uh, the UV uh, radiation does increase, meaning that you can basically get sunburned uh, way up in the mountains actually faster than you can uh, next to the ocean just because you, the atmosphere is thinner up there. And so really, I don't know why these aren't integrated. I think this this is just a little uh, Taylor 1491. So it's just a neat little unit. I can see it's just a hassle and nobody really wants to carry around some device to tell you that it's really sunny. But on some really hot days, you know, seeing this thing hit, you know, five to 10, really lets you know how fast you're gonna get burned. And I think with how many people get sunburn, you know, maybe a little device like this would actually help prevent that because it just reminds them of uh, how much UV they're actually receiving. But it's just it's a simple little thing, something they could uh, put into a cell phone and just don't understand why they haven't. It's really kind of surprising for how much the phones and watches cost. They are just lacking in so many different features and functions that basically add no cost, but... It just sucks that uh, they don't add that type of stuff. So anyway, I was just going to open this up real fast just so we could take a look at uh, you know what's under the hood of this thing. And uh, besides that, not much else to say. I will say that they did include a pretty impressive uh, instruction manual with this unit. It really is pretty surprising uh, just exactly how much manual that they've uh, included. Pop that open just so people can see. Surprisingly enough, a little UV meter is pretty complicated because of the chip that it needs. The display uh, it has a little uh, piezoelectric speaker. Quite a few components, some of them larger. We have capacitors, inductors, more capacitors here. Um, what I do find interesting is here's our thermal sensor, and there it is. They actually did try to design it, so it's behind just a little hole there right at the keychain loop so it is actually attempting to be reasonably accurate for outside temperature but still shielding it so it doesn't isn't displaying the wind chill because obviously a little bit of wind blowing across the sensor will say that it's much lower than it really is so that's actually not a bad location for it we can see that the uv sensor itself has a date of 01 so almost a 20 year old sensor in this unit fortunately uv sensors do last a long time and then there's an adjustment here. I don't know if that's just to calibrate the UV sensor or to calibrate the temperature. Anyway, just thought I'd review this item because uh, it's something, you know, if one of these things could prevent one person from getting skin cancer, that would be awesome. So that's kind of why I'm reviewing it, just to kind of bring awareness. That there are UV uh, monitors out there. I think it's pretty neat. This one could be better, like, being water resistant because obviously this being used near, you know, the pool, the beach, that type of thing. So that's one of the real big Achilles heels of this thing is the fact that it does not have any water resistance. And at least save you from some sunburn. Because when you see it says they have a UV index of 7, you used to say, oh, well, I just can't lay out there for several hours. And always kind of thought little detectors and little devices like this were neat. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, 
please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.